Well, greetings Virgo, and welcome to your horoscope. So, this is what's going on with you right now. Um, you're into it for the romance, you're into it for the love, you're into it for the intensity, and there's a sense you got to just release and let it go, that you can't keep it all in one place, and that's all right. Um, we start Friday, and it's like, you might be more like, God, I'd like to just stay home. But by Saturday, Sunday, you're like, God, I want to break out. I want to have fun. I want to travel. I want to party. I want to see friends. I want to, you know, play music or do art and have affluence on the land. I want to have my influence lead to some kind of affluence. And, and there's a lot of good fortune in this weekend. And if you haven't found love yet as a Virgo, I'd say you'd find it this weekend. Why not? You know? um, <clears throat> and uh, I think with Mercury being in the 8th house and Venus there too, it's like transiting your 8th house. It's like how deep is your love? How deep? When other people have problems and they need something for you, can you help them? Can you be patient with people that owe you money? Are other people being patient with you in your situation, or are you too prideful to express what's really going on? So, probably not, you know. Most Virgos, humility is truth. Humbleness is the way to never be knocked down. It's interesting. But humbleness does not mean be negative. Look forward to good things happening for you, Virgo. Positive is, is, is in, and it's coming.